Sushil Choksi is now joining us on the phone line. Sushil, uh, what's your view on Reliance Industries? Why has uh, the market uh, suddenly started to be so bullish on Reliance? Good morning, Pankaj. Thanks for having me on the show. I think it is very clear that Geo's overhang with the yesterday's announcement of not only customer base, but the usage per customer per month and the billing plan. All three facts have uh, receded the concerns that Geo would lead the core business of Reliance. Rather, based on data estimates, I have no analyst estimate, but what I could make out is uh, Geo's plans can definitely start covering interest in the first year of operation itself and the depreciation would take care of later on. Right. Uh, but, you know, what do you think the market is pricing in? That uh, the capital that they had invested will now start to pay off? See, the market estimate is 25 to $50 billion. Uh, 25 to $30 billion of investment is which is being envisaged and which is invested in it. Uh, at my understanding, it requires approximately 8 to 9 percent blended interest rates to be serviced on an international and domestic borrowing. So if you go by that, you need around 12, 13,000, 15,000 crores of interest burden and depreciation on top of it. So looking at the customer base, I'm quite sure that the first year geo should be able to do 20 to 25,000 crores of revenue and uh, subscription itself also can support some part of salary. So I think uh, if the customer on the voice service improves, along with data which is already on par with other customers and the offer of 20% higher data over anybody else's plan, I think makes Reliance Geo service quite attractive for uh, quite a number of people. Right. As far as uh, Reliance is concerned, even after the 8% move today, you don't think valuations are pretty expensive? No, this uh, correction is more from an overhang of geo which is being rectified. The core businesses and the expansion which Reliance has achieved in last three years and everything is coming up on production and some facilities have come up on production. Those core businesses which are going to contribute to Reliance EBITDA needs to be looked at. And I think as concerns and geos are over with yesterday's data plan which has been announced, I think that has just rectified the stock on a single day basis and maybe some rebalancing on a telecom thought basis as well as on short cover. Right. As far as, uh, you know, geo overhang is concerned, uh, it's about 30% of the capital employed. Uh, do you think that now market is also pricing in that incremental capex need will be very low as they have started to charge their customers or plan to charge their customers since April? Yeah, I think 30% uh, of capital employed will also start contributing. And second thing, if, you know, the concern was that the core earnings of other business would be taken away by Geo, which will not be the case going forward from April 17. And that is one of the reasons that people have started active. And second thing, Reliance re-rating along with the consumer business also will happen. So a consumer business re-rating along with uh, petrochemical considered as more a commodity business rebalancing may happen on the stock deal. Right. As far as uh, re-rating is concerned, it's uh, one of the most undervalued stocks in the Nifty pack uh, and also under-owned. So if the stock has to go up, uh, there could be a lot of overweight calls on this name? I think Geo would uh, put a positivity on the stock and I think uh, underweight may get neutralized over a period of one or two quarters once people start seeing what kind of revenue and EBITDA they are able to generate through the telecom operations. So first quarter would be a bad way to look at it, but by somewhere in September to December quarter, that is the second and third quarter for FY17-18, people will get a true reflection of Reliance's potential between core business and consumer business led by Geo. Right. As far as uh, Reliance is concerned, you know, what will this strategy mean for other players? Any view on that? I have no uh, indication because I don't cover telecom extensively. So what I can make out is I think competition will intensify, which will mean consolidation. Uh, three or four players will exist and I think it will be a win-win situa situation for customers. Right. As far as, uh, you know, monetization of uh, telecom assets are concerned, do you think that market was pricing in that after April as well, there could be a, you know, free offer which could come in, which now has not come? I think the fear of free offer was more on the street and which has been denied. So that's what is the positivity. 
Right. Just a word on, uh, you know, uh, the subscriber base that the company has. So right now, of course, it's under the test and there are, you know, 10 crore subscriber or 100 million subscribers. But do you think paying 99 rupees, then going ahead and paying the, you know, 300 rupees tariff a month, you think the subscriber base can come down materially? Yeah, yeah let's assume that 40-45% or 50% of the customer base which they achieve by March, which means 100 million going to somewhere in the vicinity of Let's uh, even take it to around uh, 110 uh, and 10 million or 120 million, and 40 wins around four and a half five crore subscribers remaining in the system, and start calculating your numbers. You will get the first year pricing points. Right. In terms of uh, Reliance, what will be your target price? You know, till now, whenever we speak, you say that you know one should buy at the lower end of the range, but you are tactically positive on a long-term basis. But what will be your call now at 1163 levels? I had uh, always spoken in last 12 to 18 months that once core businesses of Reliance uh, come on stream, and if you take one year forward after that, uh, so let's assume that I had indicated a target of 1700, 1800 for FI. 17, that is, I was indicating December, but my, I may shift it by three to six months. So I'm quite happy to see a price of 17, 1800 by December, March, and Reliance once the full geo operation and the co business comes on plan. But if you take a 18, 24 month uh, price target, you may be able to see a 2000 rupee as a stock price. Right. Uh, can you just tell us that if uh, Reliance actually goes to 1600, 1700 levels, what will that mean for Nifty? Last time around, it was difficult for markets to cross 6000 and Reliance and other Reliance group companies helped it. This time around, it's no different, but it's, the level is 9000? See, I don't think so. One stock uh, will matter because rebalancing between Nifty ownership and the rejig between Pharma, IT and some core heavyweight names and the financial sector consolidation, which is a lot of buzz. So market may be in for a surprise. What we need to see is how GST pans out, which will be a key indicator for the second and the third quarter of our results. And that would lead to a stability. But gaining from here of 10% over a period of 12 months may be not difficult. Right. Uh, and in terms of, uh, you know, what does, uh, you know, any of this would mean for index? Can you just tell us it's still one of the heaviest weight stocks? Uh, so how would how would the index react to that? That's what I said. The Nifty can get in 10% from here, uh, post or uh, whatever we spoke on Reliance plus GST, which may be a positive impact on the market. So somewhere between December and March, we may see Nifty at 95, 97, 100. Right. Uh, Sushil, thank you so much uh, for uh, taking our time for us. Always good to get a perspective. Reliance continues to be at a high.